So you have recently updated your iPhone to the latest iOS 18 to try out some new features but instead your iPhone experience gets icky. Your iPhone's battery is draining rapidly. Well don't you worry because in today's video we will gonna fix it. So make sure you watch this video till the end because you never know which solution might work for you. So first thing first you need to make sure that all the apps on your iPhone is up to date and optimized for iOS 18. Newer versions often come with performance improvements and battery saving tweaks. So simply you need to go to the App Store. Now tap on your Apple ID and over here you will have the option of update all. Simply tap on it. Next tip is to disable haptic feedback. Haptic feedback, those subtle vibrations which you get when you interact or touch your iPhone can be a really bad battery hog. To save power and to disable haptic feedback, you need to go into the settings app, scroll down, sound and haptics, scroll down and again system haptics, just turn it off. Similarly, I would recommend that you go into the keyboard feedback and also toggle off haptic. Another haptic setting which you might need to disable is of Ringer's haptic. Similar to the system haptic and keyboard feedback haptic, this Ringer haptic also drain a lot of battery of your iPhone and let's see how you can turn it off. So once again we need to open settings app, scroll down, go in sound and haptics and right under ringtones and alert you will have the option of haptics, tap on it and select never play. There is a lot of feedback and analytic sharing going on in the background of your iPhone so that all the bugs and glitches you face could be fixed as soon as possible. But it consumes a lot of battery and I would suggest you turn it off. So to turn off feedback and analytic sharing, you need to open settings app, scroll down, privacy and security, scroll down again, analytics and improvement and make sure you toggle off each and every option present here. So first let's start with this, okay, and just turn off this, this and this. Screen distance is one new feature which measures the distance between your eyes and the iPhone screen. If you don't want to use it, you can turn it off as this will save a lot of battery because screen distance utilizes all the depth cameras and some sensors to analyze the distance and you can simply turn it off to save some battery on your iPhone. So first and foremost, let's open settings app, scroll down, go into screen time. And over here you will have the option of screen distance, tap on it and make sure you toggle it off. Another thing which you can do is disable location services. Yes, GPS is a battery guzzler. If you don't want your iPhone to remind you to call someone based on your location, you can just turn off location services by going into the settings, scroll down, privacy and security, location services and make sure you toggle it off and that's it. Back tap is a feature which lets you to perform an action by just tapping at the back of your iPhone and you can turn it off by opening settings app, scroll down, accessibility, touch, again scroll down and at the last you will have the option of back tap, tap on it, double tap, none, triple tap and also none. Another reason for your iPhone's battery drain could be heating issues. Extreme temperatures can affect your iPhone's battery life so it is recommended that you don't use your iPhone in the direct sunlight or in extreme cold. So just keep your iPhone in the recommended temperature range for optimal performance. One reason for your iPhone's battery drain could also be its battery health and let's find it out if your iPhone's battery health is okay or it's time to change the battery on your iPhone. So to check battery health on your iPhone you need to go into the settings again, battery, battery health. Just make sure that the maximum capacity of your iPhone's battery is above 80% and if it is below that it's time to change battery on your iPhone. 
So my next tip is not to toggle off some settings or to turn off some feature. It is that you only use MFI certified cables and accessories with your iPhone as the counterfeit accessories might ruin your iPhone's battery for forever. So next thing I would recommend if you have an iPhone with OLED screen that you use dark mode. With iOS 18, Apple gave us the ability to change the app icon's color itself on home screen, giving us the opportunity and power to customize our iPhone to our liking. But I would recommend that you change the app icon's color to some shade of gray or something darker and keep the saturation to the minimum for the optimum results. And you can always use dark mode, duh. And one more thing, you can always just put a dark wallpaper, a pitch black wallpaper to save some battery even more. Another thing which drains a lot of battery is your iPhone is listening for Hey Siri 24-7 and I would recommend that you turn it off. So first and foremost, you need to open settings app, scroll down, Siri and toggle off listen for Hey Siri. Now your iPhone won't be utilizing its microphone thus saving a lot of battery. And next thing, I would recommend that you delete some unused app on your iPhone as some of these apps might be working in the background, putting stress on the processor and thus the processor would be requiring much more firepower, hence battery drain. And for the last tip, it is for app switcher. I would recommend that you do not close any app from the app switcher as this won't help. In fact, reopening the app requires a lot of power compared to running it in the background thus it will drain battery again. So keep those apps running in the background and do not kill from the app switcher. There you have it guys. If you follow these steps, I'm sure you will be able to squeeze out every last drop of juice from your iPhone's battery. If you like this video, then make sure you press the like button and let YouTube know we are doing some good work and while you are down there, Make sure you subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post. And of course, you can go to the App Store, download iGeek's blog app and enjoy everything Apple content and amazing wallpapers. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, Tada, see ya, bye-bye.